Hi you guys, we are back again with another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you step by step how to achieve this removable quick weave wig with curls. And I'll be using my black dome cap and I'll be using a 22 inch canvas block. So I'm going to align my dome cap and I like the two guidelines that they have on the cap where well, I'll use, I'll say they're guidelines, but I like to use them to line up how I need it to be centered. And I always line it up in the middle, which is pretty much, you know, aligned with your nose. So I always, um, for me, I always glue the cap in the back because I know what size my head is and the cap is actually too big for my head. So, and even if I do buy the small cap for children, because this is the regular cap, but if I buy the small cap, it's way too tight. So I just do this instead. So I'll be using the Velvet Tara 246 and you will need two boxes to complete this look. I don't have the box because I am using hair that's laying around. I'm doing this tutorial by request, so I'm doing this for you guys only. For this style, you will only use the two inch and the four inch out of each box because you will not need that six inch, but you can use it by choice. If you want to have it more fuller and longer across the front, it's completely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and start with my two inch and I'm going to use the two inch until I have nothing left because you want to get as much in as possible because this this is the length that you're mainly going to be waving up for the style molding it you know putting everything in place so that you get you know pretty curls and you do not have to put the tracks very close if you put them too close it'll be too thick I've been testing this out and honestly i do not like doing this style i really don't because it's a lot of work and you know a lot of curling if you've been following me for a while you know if, if you've been going through my tutorials i don't do a whole lot of curling only because it's a lot of work but even if you decide to you do this style and you're a hairstylist please make sure that you charge you know your work because this style do take some time even for me it takes me some time um, to do this with all of those curls in it and now I've seen people do this style with the 28 piece hair and the difference between the Tara hair and the 28 piece hair is the Tara is way more thicker the 28 piece is thinner it's very very thin and it gives a more natural look but I like the Tara but you can use either or I'll link all of the information for that in the description box so that you can you know pretty much test it out yourself and see which one you like but I use the Tara for pretty much everything that I do it's a good quality hair sometimes the 28 piece do not sometimes it's just not good quality whenever you're getting it but I've never had any issues with the Tara hair every time that i use it it's always silky always pretty always full i love it okay so when it gets to the front you want to use the two inch and you'll do maybe one or two rows depending on what you like i like to do two rows of the two inch this is going to help frame the face give it a little more pizzazz so that you can wave it and you don't have to worry about cutting any extra hair or trying to do anything significant you already know i like it simple like it quick like it fast so i like to use this two inch to do that
so now I've, I'm done with my two inch as you can see it literally goes over half the head so now I'll be using the four inch and I'll be double tracking this one because the hair is much longer and I can move more swiftly whenever I'm double tracking but in the back you see where the V is where that V it, where the dip of it is that's where I want to close it anytime that I do this this is what I like to do so you're going to continue tracking your resume using your four inch across the front and you'll be going in the same direction as you would if you were doing the two inch and you're going to do that all the way until you create a circle at the dip of the V in the back of the head Please be sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your feedback in the comment section. I love to hear from you guys because y'all give me honest feedback. And I really appreciate that. Y'all let me know what it is that you want to see. And I try to honor your requests. For this style, I'll be making my own closure because I do not like the back of the head to be flat on this look. So all I do is I track, I glue the back of the track. As you can see, and I'm going to show you right here, I put the glue on the back of the track and then I'm going to roll it up. You're going to do this. You can use, you can do it bigger, you can do it smaller, however, but like I said, I'm just doing this for you guys just to kind of show you as a demonstration only. So you can go home and practice this. So all I'm doing is rolling it up and try to keep it as tight as possible because sometimes when I do this, um, the hair will kind of unravel or the tracks will slide. So just try to keep, you know, when you're rolling it, try to keep a good bit of tension on it. Now it's time to even everything up 
you are going to need a pair of shears for this I did not do any razor cutting on this so I'm going to use my signature razor shears and you can purchase them on my website at FeliciaSlater.com so yeah you're going to pull the hair out at a 90 degree your goal is to even that hair up with the two inch on the side as you can see as I'm cutting you can see the layers come in and this is going to help take away any fishtails whenever you're curling anybody who does any curls you know those fishtails are so aggravating and they do not look good so this is going to help with that Now I'm going to section off the hair because I like to keep it separated just so that I know what I'm waving. I don't wave the entire head at all. Some people do, but I don't. I like to separate it and specifically around the front. If you're going to frame it with waves, you want to make sure the four inch is separated from that two inch on the front. So now I'm going to use my water bottle and I like to do this because I do not like to use up all of my product. This is weave and it will take a lot to get all of this hair saturated with the foam wrap lotion. So the water is going to help with that. And of course, I'm using my all-time favorites, Aunt Jackie's Fritz Patrol Foam Wrap Lotion. You guys, I love, love, love this foam wrap. I stand behind it 100%. It's very, very thick and diluted, and it makes everything smooth. Like, it's just, it just gets the job done. So, yeah, make sure that you try it. And I'll link that information for the product in the description box. So you're going to begin waving the hair. I always start at the closure and then I work my way down. I do not like waving hair, you guys. I really don't, <laughs> but I have to because my clients love this style. And make sure that you go ahead and wave the front. So this is going to 
give you the guide of how your waves are going to flow on the side so you can make sure that you you know you do this you can do this first however it's completely up to you and whatever is comfortable but this is what i like to do and like i said i do not like doing this style but i will if i have to so yeah just have fun with it do what you want to do you can try different ways you can wave going in a different direction it's completely up to you how you want to do it put as many flips and curls as you want to around the edges just to kind of frame it up and give it a little bit of you know sauce so yeah you can just watch i'm going to um continue to have the video sped up for the ways then i'll come back For the top, I'm going to put foam wrap lotion on it because to me the hair will curl a lot better when I put foam wrap lotion on it. And to be honest, if if you are one of those ladies that like to spike the hair or like to get a little bit funky, as you can see, you can do anything with this. This is the beginning mold of anything that you want to do, however you want to curl it. But this is what I do. I like to make sure that all of the hair is saturated with the foam wrap lotion because it, it just curls a whole lot better. After you are done doing all of that, you are going to put it underneath the dryer Y'all already know weave takes a lot longer to dry. Typically anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes, depending on the dryer that you're using. But it does take a while to dry this hair. Now that it's dry, you can use any kind of serum or sheen spray i like to use the design essentials oil sheen diamonds i love it you can find it i'll link it in the description box you're going to begin combing out these waves they are very very cute very pretty and honestly even if you wanted to wear it like this you could um so this is what i'm doing i'm using my red by kiss half inch flat iron and whenever you begin to do this curl you're going to curl it and then you're going to kind of push it and then you're going to kind of squeeze it with the flat iron. I don't know what to even call it. I think they call them like bliss curls. But I'm not so, you know, good at it, but I'm good enough. <laughs> but I'm still trying to perfect my craft every day. It's a work in progress. Every client is a work in progress um, each and every day that you work on a client is progress towards getting better so you know for me doing stuff like this it it helps me a, a lot and it helps me to keep up with my craft and you know do new things because y'all know the styles that i do this is something that i don't normally do but i do want to get more into doing more soft styles As I get closer to the bottom, I will start using my micro iron. This is by Stella and I will try to find this online, but I purchased this one from my local beauty supply store and it is the bomb. I've tried the H2 Pros, I've tried the, the pencils and honestly, none of them have nothing on this flat iron. Like literally, I love this iron, like the plates and you know, if you use the pencil before, you know how bulky what the plates are. But this, this is very, very skinny and flat. So it's almost like you can get in between and you don't have to worry about that bulkiness. And if I can't find it online, um, I'll put it on my website if anyone wants to try them I can ship it to you I can go and get them and 
yeah they they're very very good it's definitely worth a try um i stand behind them they go up to 450 degrees i think but it's a very good flat iron you know i don't have any complaints at all my main complaint was can i ever find a great micro iron that's not so bulky in this this iron it did it so after the mold as you can see that hair is in place it gives it a lot of volume so however you mold that hair that's how that hair is going to go so as you can see even if you wanted to spike this or do something funky do something you know something crazy something a little bit wild you can do that because the mold is already there you can already see how the style will be going all you would need to do is just throw some spikes in there or you could just go ahead and curl it like I'm going to do so yeah you can just follow along I'll be speeding it up as I go because like I said these curls do take a while and whenever I'm doing these curls I try to not put everything in the same direction so it's like I'll go one direction then I'll go the other direction but you want to make sure that you do not have any gaps because if you do it's going to look you know a little bit weird but your ultimate goal is to curl it have fun with it but do not have any gaps in the hair So right here this is why I did the closure the way that I did it this helps it to look seamless and you can't really tell that there's a closure there at all so for instance if you would have used a closure out of the pack it would have been flat in that area this helps it to have more volume So this is pretty much the finished look all I'm doing now is kind of finger styling and framing it to my face and I had to go off camera to put the unit on because in the beginning I forgot to put the plastic cap on my canvas block so the glue had it stuck in my canvas and I had a time getting it off but I did not do no damage to the unit it doesn't affect it at all um, everything is you know pretty much in place so you know you can do this how you want to customize it frame it you know throw some more curls in there it's completely up to you what you do from here this is pretty much i gave you the base gave you the knowledge and what you do from here is on you thank you guys so much for tuning into this tutorial make sure that you like comment share and subscribe all of my loyal subscribers thank you guys so much for continuously supporting the community and if you are not subscribed, make sure that you hit that button and turn on your notifications so you see all of my posts first.